My name is Steve Goetz, and my story is about the Lock Haven Jazz and Art on Main Street, or LH Jams. We, at the Arts Council, wanted to come up with an event that we incorporated both the visual arts with the performing arts. We have this wonderful collaboration or partnership with LHU, and they had an inspiring jazz program under the leadership of Dr. Eddie Severin. So we started to plan it, and a lot of the community got behind us. It all came together, and we had this wonderful festival the first year. Each year, we add a different layer to it, more performances. Uh, the first year, uh, for example, on Main Street, we only had four performances. Last year, we added four more. We've also collaborated with the City Concert Series to include um, a River Stage or Corman Amphitheater uh, performance. We have art and fine craft vendors that um, we fill the street, uh, Main Street shut down. Uh, we have this uh, wonderful group of plein air artists that, that come and paint. Then we'll have wonderful, wonderful food. Taverns, restaurants can set up uh, on the streets. So we have this great food, and most of them uh, will take on a jazz theme. So they'll have gumbos and crab cakes and all kinds of things. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a great time. If you include everything on Saturday, there's 14 different performances. Um, there'll be eight on Main Street. There'll be one on the Corman Amphitheater, and again, the five venue uh, performances later on in the evening. I had a chance to interview Donna Wilson, provost at Lock Haven University, and she speaks a little bit about how uh, the festival connects with Lock Haven University, the Arts Council, and the community. JAMS is a wonderful opportunity for the university because we have a chance to pool our resources in our jazz program and our facilities with the resources of downtown Lock Haven and the Clinton County Arts Council to produce something much greater than what any of us could do. There's not a lot of jazz in central Pennsylvania. Right here in Lock Haven, people really don't have a chance to see and hear that type of music. Part of what we do at the Arts Council is to have these community enrichment programs. So to be able to bring world-class jazz musicians to Lock Haven for two days, it's just this fun atmosphere. And, and it's a great way to showcase Lock Haven, uh, the town that we're very proud of.